Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can stack animations in PowerPoint to make these cool circle effects. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation. So we'll go to File, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout and Blank. Now let's add the circle text. We can click on our text box and click anywhere and type our text. I want this to be fig tree, 60 point and bold. To change it to a circle, we can go to Shape Format, Text Effects, Transform, and select this one here, Follow Path Circle. Now, if we right click on it, go to Format Shape, click on the Size option here. I'm going to change this to a square. I'm just going to choose 6 centimeters by 6 centimeters. We can make it bigger or smaller when we want, but that's a good starting point. I'm now going to fill it with a gradient, the text, not the shape. So we want to make sure we're on text options, then go to text fill and gradient fill. I've selected this orange, blue and purple color and chosen radial, but you can choose anything you like that you think looks good. I'm now going to make the background a very dark gray. So I'll right click on it, choose format background, solid fill and select this one here. We'll now align this to the middle by clicking on it and going to Arrange Align Center and Arrange Align Middle. So that's our basic starting point for the text. Now let's add the animation. And by stacking animations, you can get some really cool effects. So go to Animations. And the first thing we're going to choose is Spin. For this, we want the animation pane open because we're going to be making a number of adjustments in it. So if we double click on this spin, I'm going to set this to two spins again. This doesn't matter too much, it's whatever you think looks good. We can give this a smooth end, click OK. I'm going to give this a duration of 10 seconds and set it to happen with previous. So now when we run that, it will spin for 10 seconds and it will have a smooth end. I also want to add a fade, so we'll go to Add Animation and choose Fade. I want this fade to happen first. So I can click here and drag it up to the top. I can also set it to start with previous. So now when we start it, it will fade on and rotate. Now we're going to add another animation on top and it's going to be a grow shrink. So we'll go to add animation and choose grow shrink. Double click on this. We can set any size we want. In my example, I set it to 800%. Press return. Give it a smooth end, press OK. I'm going to set this to 10 seconds duration and make it happen with previous. And now when we run that, it will zoom out, rotate, and it looks really cool. We're going to add a quick duplicate to make another version of that. And you can do anything you want with these. So if I click on this, press Control D, I've now made a duplicate of it. I can hold down Control and Shift and drag it in from the corner to make it a bit smaller. Again, we'll align it to the center. By going to Align Center, Align Middle. And if we run this, both animations will effectively be exactly the same, but we can make some small tweaks to the second animation just to differentiate it from the movement in the other circle. So for example, on this spin option here, we can change it to one spin. Click OK, and I can set the timing, for example, to eight seconds on this. So I can go to Animations, set the duration to eight, and the same for this Grow Shrink. Set that duration to eight seconds. And you can make any combinations of these that you think looks good. That looks nice. I'm just going to make this a bit smaller. It doesn't cross over the other one. Nice. And you can use this on any background and edit the text at any time. So if we control D to duplicate this slide, change this background, for example, to a gradient fill, then run that. We can change this to anything we want. And we can also edit this text at any time. It's so easy with PowerPoint to make edits once you've added the animations and you can duplicate and copy the animations to anything you want. 
So there's a really cool way to quickly add very dynamic animation to any slide. And if you'd like to download the source files for any of these tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you want to become a PowerPoint expert, watch one of the next videos. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, click subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.